Okie dokie. So here we go. The complete of the complete of your office experience. You'll close this. This is what comes up when it's completed. And now uh, play on Linux is gonna do some uh, work here to get some shortcuts on the desktop. It's gonna do it by itself automatically. You'll see them pop up. While it's doing that, I like to let you all know that. I just want want to show you my experience but also to let you know that there's no endorsement of any kind here going on not from Microsoft not from the community of, of Linux and Ubuntu these are my personal experiences that I want to share with you for educational purposes as well okay we're gonna click next next now when play on Linux installs this version now as you can see this is a professional version so not everything is here there's also access uh, publisher so what we have to do is to go to configure click on the, uh, the, the wine installation it, that it gave the name of office 2010 and click here make a new shortcut from this virtual drive is and the window is going to come up and it's going to scan the wine virtual drive and this is what will allow me to also add more shortcuts and as you can see in here it has a list of programs links and exes to choose from now for access here we go MS access don't choose the icon one choose the the other one will give you an error when you try and start it it will start but it'll give an error um, some of them won't start I believe access won't start on that one access will start this one without any problems and give it a name I'm gonna name mine as a as it would as you see to the left Microsoft access 2010 then I'm gonna click on next and so now it's gonna create that shortcut with this name and there it goes now it's gonna go through the process again now one more is missing that's publisher Okay, where'd publisher go? I mean, publisher, yeah, publisher. There we go. And this is the one you use for publisher, MS Pub. Click next. We'll, we'll change that name again to the, just as the others. I did okay click next okay now do I have them all word Excel PowerPoint OneNote out excuse me Outlook publisher in access okay it looks like I have them all so then we go back to the top I don't want to make you got to tell it or you can hit cancel I like to do next so this is using the play on Linux configuration and getting the extra shortcuts to get the rest of the programs loaded as you can see it also make the shortcuts here inside the play on Linux menu and if you click on one you can click on it here and click run and give a minute for the very first time running it it's going to take a few minutes just as you would normally in the windows
And there we go. Use recommended settings. Now if we go to file here and we go to help, you can see it automatically activates it as well. Product activated. You don't have to do anything else. Let's see if I can find one of my files that I uh, put in here. There we go. Yes, it is. And there you go. It's, it's showing that it works. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me exit out of that. And exit out of this. And to show you how powerful this is. Microsoft Access 2010. Working on Play on Linux. All of them work. Let's click them all. Let's make sure they all work. Excel. OneNote. And the icon should pop up here on the bottom right. There it goes. There's a, a OneNote icon too. PowerPoint. I'm going to skip Outlook. It works. But then it's going to want me to... Uh, enter an email address and everything to connect and uh, I don't want to do that I do use it um, well I can cancel it but it will start up and run and do everything as expected see it wants me uh, to start everything like hook up to uh, connect to an email address so it works and runs so now how do we get yes I want to close all these programs how do we get from how do we get these shortcuts in the menu here